The Cape Cod Baseball League is the premier amateur baseball league in the United States. Although its history goes back to the 1860s, the Cape Cod Baseball League wasn't officially formed until 1923, making this upcoming summer the 100th year anniversary. The 10-team league plays a 44-game regular season schedule, followed by playoffs and a championship series. The season runs from mid-June to mid-August, with games typically played in the evenings to avoid conflicts with beachgoers and tourists. One unique aspect of the Cape Cod Baseball League is that the games are often attended by Major League scouts and coaches. They come to watch the up-and-coming college players compete in a high-level setting. This adds an element of excitement and anticipation to the games as fans and players alike know that they are watching some of the best young talent in the country. Some of the notable former Cape League players who went on to have successful MLB careers include Nomar Garciaparra, Chris Sale, Carlton Fisk, Mark Teixeira, Jason Veritek, Chris Bryant, Jacoby Ellsbury, Evan Longoria, Matt Harvey, Joe Maurer, Tim Lincecum, Buster Posey, Aaron Judge, Pete Alonzo, and George Springer. The first overall draft picks in the MLB draft from 2018 to 2021 were all former Cape Cod Baseball League players. Casey Miz from the Wareham Gateman in 2016, Adley Rushman also from the Wareham Gateman in 2019, Spencer Torkelson from the Chatham Anglers in 2018 and 2019, and Henry Davis from the Bourne Braves in 2019. Along with having former Cape Cod Baseball League players forever enshrined in Cooperstown at the National Baseball Hall of Fame, there is a lesser-known Cape Cod Baseball League Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame classes started in 2000, however they did not have a physical site until 2003 when it debuted at the Sandwich Heritage Museum and Gardens. It then moved to the basement of the JFK Museum on Main Street in Hyannis in 2008, where it stayed for another nine years. However, since 2017, the Cape Cod Baseball League Hall of Fame has not had a physical site, but continues to induct new members each year. The Yarmouth Board of Selectmen addressed the issue briefly in their meeting last week. A letter was sent out to the Massachusetts Office of Travel and Tourism regarding a possible new site for the Cape Cod Baseball League Hall of Fame in Yarmouth. The proposed site being the Old Moose Lodge on 769 Route 28 in South Yarmouth. Chairman Stone, as well as Selectman Forrest and McGurran, went on record as endorsing the letter. You know, that would be a great project. It's in keeping with the town's visioning, and, and I think it would be a, a very nice draw for the visitors. The, the Cape Cod Baseball League is, is nationally renowned. It's the top collegiate baseball league in the country, and it's got a very rich history. So um, I, I think, you know, we're, we're all sort of working, uh, you know, together behind the scenes if it's possible to establish that Hall of Fame. I think Yarmouth would be a great place for it. Having the baseball league here on the Cape is a, a wonderful advantage for us, and I think that it is a tourist dr driven, uh, it uh, drives a lot of the tourism that comes to the Cape. For the, it's an excellent organization. Overall, the Cape Cod Baseball League is a fun and exciting experience for both players and fans alike. With a long history of developing talented baseball players and a unique game day atmosphere, the league is sure to be a popular destination for baseball enthusiasts during the upcoming season, which starts on June 10th. For more on the Cape Cod Baseball League, go to capecodbaseball.org. For Cape Media News, I'm Ryan Downs.